I was playing around with a ping pong ball and a leaf blower and got to thinking about terminal velocity and fluid drag. Terminal velocity is when the drag force from the air particles hitting the object cancels out the acceleration due to gravity. The object maintains a constant velocity and this is known as terminal velocity. You can see this happening in the leaf blower stream when the ping pong ball appears to be floating. In this video, we'll be going over how to calculate the terminal velocity using the fluid drag equation. So our fluid drag will be the weight of the ping pong ball, which is three grams expressed in kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 meters per second. I calculated it out here. The density of the fluid, which is air, is 1.225 kilograms per meters cubed. This is at standard temperature and pressure. The velocity of the fluid is what we'll be solving for, so this is the unknown. The coefficient of drag of the sphere will be 0.47, which we'll assume is a Reynolds number that is turbulent, which will probably be fairly close to what we'll see in the leaf blower stream. The cross-sectional area will be the area of a circle, which is just the diameter squared divided by four times the constant pi. I've listed the diameter here on this slide. So after we rearrange the formula to get what we're solving for velocity to one side, we get this equation. Plugging in our numbers, we get a terminal velocity of 9.25 meters per second, or about 20.7 miles per hour, or 33.3 kilometers per hour. This is pretty close to what I saw on the internet elsewhere for the terminal velocity of a ping pong ball. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. It really helps out the channel if you do. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.